While a part of the plastic waste in the oceans comes from land, predominantly as a result of mismanaged waste disposal, the ships and offshore oil and gas platforms also contribute to it. For the last half century, plastic has become an integral part of our daily life. From furniture to grocery bags, from vehicle parts to toys, plastic is an unavoidable element of our lives in a variety of forms. However, from being regarded as a very vital presence in the contemporary world, plastic has now come to be looked upon as a material of immense potential destruction and harm. As is commonly known, plastic isn't biodegradable, which accentuates the threat of lingering waste plastic for years and for generations to come. According to estimates, people around the world throw away almost 4 million tons of trash every day, of which 12.8% is plastic, polluting land, air and water. Plastic thrown into landfills contaminates the soil and groundwater with harmful chemicals and microorganisms. The effects of marine pollution caused by plastic are immeasurable. Just like on land, even in the oceanic areas, the effects of plastic on marine life have started to be felt. Studies reveal that around 12.7 million tons of plastic waste are washed into the ocean every year. The United Nations Environment Programme estimates there could be as many as 51 trillion microplastic particles in the ocean already. In recent times, considering the increase in disposal of plastic into the ocean, it has become imperative to take all possible measures to combat this problem by understanding the consequences of plastic in the ocean. But before one can do so, one needs to understand the repercussions of plastic in the sea, which is necessary to take the protective measures even more sensibly. So, let's find out what horrible things plastic causes in the ocean. One. Consumption of plastic by marine creatures Plastic causes severe digestive problems for marine animals which go mainly untreated. Reports suggest the consumption of plastic by all types of fish amounts to several tons every year. In addition to causing intestinal injury and death of these fish, this also spreads the risk across the food chain to bigger fish and marine mammals. For example, a sperm whale has been found dead on a Scottish beach with a stomach full of plastic, knotted into a lethal ball. The whale, discovered by locals on the Isle of Harris, was found to have a 100 kilogram litter ball inside it. Among the items in the dead animal's stomach were fishing nets, rope, packing straps, bags and plastic cups. 2. Plastic leads to the disappearance of sea turtles. Like many other marine animals, sea turtles mistake plastic waste for a viable food source, sometimes causing blockages in their digestive system. Though the declining sea turtle populations in the ocean are due to a variety of factors, plastic pollution plays a significant role. Separate studies from 2013 suggest as many as 50% of sea turtles are ingesting plastic at an unprecedented rate and dying because of it. Another study found that 15% of young turtles examined had ingested such enormous quantities of plastic that their digestive system was obstructed. 3. Plastic pollution in the seas affects human beings in different ways. In addition to the risks from polluted marine waters, ingestion of plastic by fish and other marine beings also in turn causes harm to people who consume marine food. Plastic contains a lot of substances which might otherwise be hazardous. When fishing activities are carried out, there is every chance that fish infected with such harmful substances might find their way into our household, thereby causing health problems to the end consumers. Studies have found that toxins in plastics cause several health issues including cancers, immune system problems and birth defects. 4. Ghost Nets Sea turtles and sea lions are also the most common victim of ghost nets in the ocean. Like plastic bags or bottles or any other junk, the stray plastic nets used for fishing and plastic crates also cause oceanic ruination. These plastic wastes cause harm to the marine life by choking life forms or by getting tangled in precious reefs, causing them to break apart. These nets are known as ghost nets, while the process of marine creatures being tangled in them is referred to as ghost fishing. Five. Disruption of the Biogeocycle Garbage in the ocean, namely plastic, 
jeopardizes the natural ambience of marine life. It disrupts the entire biogeo cycle, causing unwanted problems to the whole marine ecosystem. Plastic threatens the existence of life underwater right from smaller fishes to huge mammals and amphibians in several ways. Reports say that around 1 million seabirds and 100,000 marine mammals are killed every year due to plastic ingestion. Unfortunately, several marine species are on the verge of extinction because of such types of ocean pollution. 6. Plastic consumes oxygen The amount of garbage in the seas also pollutes the oceanic waters, just like the plastic harms the marine life in several ways. Dispensation of hazardous materials, including toxic substances such as bisphenol A, which has commonly been found in many plastic commodities, pollutes the water badly. Since bisphenol A doesn't get diluted in water, it results in grave environmental problems. Similarly, the debris uses oxygen as it degrades, resulting in the low level of oxygen in the waters. As oxygen levels go down, it badly affects the survival of marine animals, including whales, dolphins, and penguins. 7. What you throw in the water comes back to the land. The ruination of the ocean doesn't only include the high seas. It also includes the shores and the beaches, which are infested with plastic. The plastic waste can either float for miles on the water, or they could be submerged on the seabed or, commonly, be found on the seashore. Such congested areas become easy threats to birds and other land animals that get caught up in the chokehold of plastic. Irrespective of the location, the ecosystem gets impaired hugely because of such marine debris. What can you do? Clean up after yourself. It's simple. Leave nothing behind that may pollute the environment. In doing so, you can become an example to others who may want to decrease their plastic footprint. Recycle. If you really can't say no to plastic, then recycle. A great bulk of the plastic pollution is a result of single-use plastics. Find creative and practical uses for plastic so that you'll stop dumping them into the landfill. It's small actions like these that can help make an impact on saving our oceans. If done on a global scale, we might be able to stop further plastic pollution. And then, maybe, just maybe, whales and other marine creatures will no longer have to die because of plastic. If you've learned something from this video, or you just enjoyed the content, then please leave a like below and subscribe. We hope that this video has taught you something about the impacts that our human lifestyles have on the planet around us. Stay safe, and see you next time.